Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas! Psst, hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Oops. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. It's... Quite the little journey. A humble adventurer. Lost in the portal network. Now, just one more victory away from owning the Atlas. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal. More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow... But I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. I don't really do quiet exits. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I could ask the same of you. I know a lot more than you might think, Spardo. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! 
yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief. Yeah, Ivor too. Oh, yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Uh, hi, Reuben. Oh, sup? Nothing too much. How about yourself? Oh, same. This is so awkward. So you used the Atlas to kidnap all my best friends. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? If you're this scared of me, I must have a better shot of winning than you're letting on. Or maybe I'm just tired of a little pipsqueak interfering with my games. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow. Tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah. Except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, hey there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slab, be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, squishy. <laughs> You're okay! What happened up there? Have you seen what Ivor is wearing? I said <laughs> shut up! Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. I did it to save you guys. That's what this has all been about. But you'll be trapped. Probably forever. And he'll have the Redstone Heart. Yeah, but at least I know you guys will be free. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good. There's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? 
Yeah? Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah. Because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... <gasps> no way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Hey, but the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean, totally OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never- Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. That's very oddly inspiring. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs>